Greetings to all who may be watching this playthrough of Portal. And this time, I'm actually not the one playing. Would you kindly introduce yourself? Hi, I'm a geezer. <laughs> yep, that's right. I got my old man playing this game in my place. And for a reason at that, we'll cover that later in a bit after uh, our AI friend is done talking. Uh, any minute now, at least. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. That's we an understatement. <laughs> Please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay, so I've played through both games in the series numerous times. My dad played one of them a while ago. He enjoyed it quite a bit, but it's been a while since. I figure it might be more entertaining to watch someone who's less familiar than I with the series go through it and me just taking the... me riding shotgun instead. You remember how these work, right? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. An interesting little security measure there. Just destroy anything someone tries to smuggle between the testing chambers. Hmm. Yeah, this room... I think this room gave me a little bit of trouble when I first played this Please game. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. <laughs> Oops, where'd it go? Um, it changes over time. Like, in a few seconds it's gonna... There. It's like it cycles around the room. Okay, so... Ah. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Bit late for that warning, eh? <laughs> Considering you got sealed in the room with a freaking super mm. button. So what makes you wonder, though, what constitutes that button as a super button? I don't know. <laughs> Valve world is the world of crazy. I mean, look at that. You got the friggin' sanitarium padding elevator. <laughs> Did you say it was something like a... Well, freight elevator. Yeah. Freight elevators are padding. Well, please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material hmm. Emancipation Grip. Which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. There you go. Oh. Well, where's this going? <laughs> that was perfect right timed. Back, right back where I... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're on the other side of the room. Uh... 
I'm confused. I'm confused. It's the, the portal gun in the center of the room. No, the portal gun. You fail. Okay. You'll have to bear with, viewers. My dad's a... My dad's not a core gamer like I am. You well, where am I trying to go? Well, you're trying to... You want that. This one? No, the thing... There oh. Oh. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can uh -huh. create portal portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. All Do right. not look directly at the operational end of the device. Oh, well, that's all that was? The device hmm. in liquid yeah, just grab it back. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... <laughs> So yeah, don't go jumping in any water while you're holding that thing. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm surprised she says don't look directly at its operational end, even though being in point-blank range, that portal gun will not hurt you at all. <laughs> hmm. Well, she says a lot of stuff that's not true. Agreed. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. One gap. Hmm. The portals go both ways, remember? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well done. Remember, the aperture science from your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> It's kind of funny how the freaking portal gun shots explode in sparks if they don't create a portal, even though it's not really hazardous or anything. All right. Welcome to test chamber four. Uh oh, I You're can get squished. Well. Yeah, it's actually really hard for you to get squished in this game. Like if one of those boxes falls right on your head, it um it just makes your screen turn red for a little while. It can't actually kill you. I've tried that. As part of a required test protocol, Wrong chamber lock. we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Ah oh, yes, as needs it is, the portal gun can only work on those flat white surfaces. Hmm. So, it's a neat device, but it's definitely a fallible one. Two of them. Mm -hmm. That means you need two boxes. Huh. Yeah, you can't shoot portals when you're holding something. Kinda makes sense. Lord knows how much those friggin' boxes weigh. Considering they can hold down the super buttons! Oh. <laughs> Part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. No new Good news job. there. Mm -hmm. As part of a required test protocol, Could I do anything with that? Enhancing the truth in three, two, 
No, it's related to an achievement. I've uh, been working on trying to get that achievement with limited success. Alright. What the heck? Where am I? Uh, well, there's a see-through roof above you. Oh. Strange how frickin' gravity works with these portals. And now you just automatically just kinda slowly twist hmm. when you're... <laughs> when you go through a portal into different gravity. That's one thing I've always wondered about this friggin' game. <laughs> 